Hi everyone, my name is Lori. I'm one of the designers at Be Createful, and today I'm going to show you how to prepare a rhinestone file to upload it into Cricut Design Space. The program I'm using today is sure cuts a lot. I have a version 3, which is an older version. Um, the current version that's out today is version 4. Um, the option I'll be using today is available in both version 3 and 4, so the steps should be pretty much the same. So let's get started here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select File, and we're going to select Import. And um, the, the Shortcut Slot program will import a SVG or a EPS file. Um, I find that the EPS file is sometimes a little bit more accurate as far as keeping the, the file um, the same size that it was originally designed at, um, but if you're comfortable using the SVG, you can try that too. If that one doesn't uh, come in at the correct size, then you can switch to an EPS. So we're going to click on the EPS file, we're going to select Open. And here's our design, which is all still um, as one object. We want to ungroup this, and we're going to select ungroup. And now our boxes are separate objects, as well as our individual circles can now be selected. Uh, this is the way, um, by selecting an individual circle, you can see if the design has changed at all. I know I designed this uh, football to accommodate a SS10 stone, so therefore the circle should measure 0.13 inches. If I go over to the right side here, right side here um, I can see that when I click on an individual circle, they are in fact 1.3 inches, and um, so I'm assuming, I can assume that this design is sized correctly. If that wasn't the case and you brought in your SVG, then go ahead, delete it, and bring in the EPS file and try that. So the next, the next step we're going to be doing is we're going to take all the brown circles and group them as one object and all of the gray circles and make them another object. The reason we have to do this is because Design Space has a hard time uploading rhinestone files because of all the individual circles that make up the design. So we need to create as, as few objects as possible in order to upload this file. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to keep, as of right now, we're going to keep these, these um, gray boxes around the design. If you select each one of the gray boxes, each of the pieces are exactly the same size. See 8.357 and this is 8.357. We're going to keep this only for the fact it's going to be easier if we have to resize the design in, in design space or even to check the size. Um, we know we're just going to have to use one measurement um, instead of having to resize each individual piece. As you can see that um, each of the, the pieces, this is 8.058 and this one is uh, 7.738. So it, it would save us time having to um, resize each piece. We can resize the box including the piece and then choose to delete the boxes if we wish to in design space. So what we're going to do is make sure we're going to only select the brown circles. So you're going to move your cursor around the design and select just outside uh, the all the brown circles. If you went and it included the box, then it would make this all one piece, and we really don't want to do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to come up to Objects. We're going to select Merge. And now the box can be selected. And also, if I select a brown circle, now we can see that this is all one object. So we're going to do the same thing for the gray circles. Select them, go to Object, select Merge, and now we can select a gray circle. Now you can see that it's, it's one object and the box is another object. So now we're ready to export our design out of here as an SVG. 
So we're going to select export. We're going to make sure that it's a selected as an SVG and we're going to name our file football and I'm going to call it scale so I know it was made in the shortcuts a lot program and we're going to hit save. So now this is the only option or this is the only part of that I can see that's different between version 3 and version 4. Uh, version 4 has a another box here that would say something like keep Cricut compatible. Um, the videos that I've watched says that you need to check that box. Not sure exactly what that that does by selecting that, but um, go ahead and if you have version 4, go ahead and select that box. And then you're going to want to, if it's not default already, you're going to want to make sure that the DPI stays uh, 72. This will help keep the design the same size that um, it originally was made as. So we're going to keep that as a D, uh, 72 DPI, select OK, and now that saves our file. So now we're going to open up our Design Space program, we're going to upload, upload image, we're going to uh, go to browse, and we're going to go into the football scale SVG. We do not want to uh, upload the original one because that will have all the individual circles. So we want to make sure we collect the. Um, uh, we want to click on the one that was labeled scale. Select open, and now we're going to select save. And here is our football scale. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select insert images. And now that brings it into our program. And um, right now it is grouped together as one object. So we're going to go to ungroup. And now it is now four individual objects, just like it's shown off here to the right. So there's no way now that we can ungroup the uh, football any further in order to uh, check to make sure that the circle sizes have not changed. So the only way to make sure that this file is the correct size is we need to compare it to the design that was uploaded into the, um, the scale program. So what we're going to do is see both of these boxes are now 8357. Select this one, 8357. So if we have to make any changes now, we know we will make the exact same size change to both pieces and they will still, uh, it will be equal and they will ma make these pieces the same exact size so that the design will still fit together properly. So our measurement was 8.357, so we're going to go back into scale. We're going to select one of the boxes, and it in fact is 8.357 by 4.942. And our height is 4.942. Okay, so um, we know that the circles are SS10s, and this design is ready to cut. You, at this point, can um, either cut with the weed boxes. If you plan on using the uh, method where you stack your templates on top of each other and do the hinge, hinge method as far as assembling it, or if you prefer to eyeball the design and um, try to fit each piece together just by lining it up using your um, your eyes you can go ahead and select just the corner and delete the boxes and this will allow for you to cut um, and use a little less of the flock material so sometimes you have a, a piece that may be um, on a separate template and it's it's just a very small area if you 
kept the black box, it would use up more sticky, more of the flock. Um, but by deleting the box, it would just cut the, the small area. So um, I hope all this information was helpful, and thanks for watching.